often uh, those of us that are pastors ask people to change not just one or two things, but a whole bunch of things in their life, big issues in mm -hmm. their life. Mm -hmm. Because, I mean, obviously, uh, often when people come to Christ, their the lifestyle is so out of sync with what God would have them do that major changes uh, are required. I mean, I've seen people make across the board significant changes in their life. Not that they became uh, a new person in the sense that you know, if they didn't pick their clothes up before, they may still not pick their clothes up, you know, th those kinds of things. But still, I've seen people make some uh, really, really major changes. It seems to me that there's something significant about a person saying, I really want to change my life. I don't like where I am right now. By God's grace, I want to be different. And it seems to me maybe that uh, there are times at least when people can make big, significant changes that really have uh, ongoing ramifications that uh, lead to a whole bunch of smaller changes. The person that has reached that state is, to me, uh, one of the best client scenarios. Because you yeah. want, as a coach, I want to work with people that have reached the point of, I need to make changes. Uh -huh. um, those are the ones that are most committed to the coaching process okay. and, and making lasting changes. All right. What, uh, now, I know that uh, in any kind of, um, almost any endeavor in life, you can find, you can find, uh, you know, those that can, uh, that are, people represent themselves in a certain way. Some are good, some aren't so good. And since this is a new endeavor, uh, the area of lifestyle coaching, relatively new, I'd like to sort some of that out so that we understand, y you know, well, what does a person have to do to be a lifestyle coach and is everyone equally good? Right. All right, we'll be back in just a moment. Stay with us. There's more to come. Your thoughts and comments are welcome at 800-775-4673. LifeTalk Radio presents Around the Globe in 30 Seconds. For almost two decades, LifeTalk has been building its presence in countries around the globe. Every day, Steve Gallimore and the LifeTalk audio engineers broadcast the radio signal that spreads the gospel to 150 countries like Japan, South Africa, Colombia. These are just a few of the many countries that LifeTalk Radio is in, and the list continues to grow. Get involved. Even the smallest donation goes a long way to spreading the word around the globe. LifeTalk.net offers podcasts of many of our live talk shows. Steve Gallimore Live looks at current events and how they relate to scripture. The Life Quest series features a variety of hosts each weekday. Logos digs a little deeper into God's Word. Life Quest for Peace deals with conflict resolution. Discovery looks at Bible topics in a new light. Liberty deals with religious freedom. And Love for a Lifetime teaches us to love in a new way. We also have Vibrant Life, the weekly Ask Your Doctor program. To listen to these podcasts, go to lifetalk.net. Join Life Talk's growing online community on Facebook. Become a fan of Life Talk and upload video and pictures. You may listen to past programs on our podcast page like HeartWise and Simple Solutions. That's the new Life Talk Facebook page. Tired of endlessly searching for energizing, uplifting daily devotionals? Here on the Steve Gallimore Live Show, every day we build a house, God's house, in your heart. talking about making those lifestyle changes and making them stick. Marcel, let's come back to uh, the, the whole idea of having a, a life coach. And we were talking uh, before break about, you know, how do you find a, a good or how do you stay away from those maybe that aren't so good? I mean, it's not like going, most people know if they go to someone that has, uh, for instance, in the medical field, if they have an MD, they're probably reasonably competent, some a whole lot more so than others. I mean, obviously we know that. <coughs> But, uh, but in your area, uh, probably no, not many people have even heard of what you do, much less of uh, certification processes and those kinds of things. 
Uh, so tell us what people can expect and where do they find someone that can really be helpful. Yeah, I, and I wanted to also clarify that um, the, the, the individuals that I work with, Steve, um, are functional people that want to move towards a higher function. Sure. And, and so uh, to meet their goals or to uh, seek more balance and wisdom and joy in their lives. Right. And so I, I ask a lot of questions that they may not be able to ask themselves or right. know to ask. Um, and, uh, and so I always call people to action. There's the, the coaching conversation is always moving forward, never looking back. Mm -hmm. It's always taking steps forward. Okay. All right. Well, where, does, where do they find someone that's good? <laughs> um, uh, and what about the certifications? I mean, who, who, who are the good ones? I mean, well, I do, what do you do? You just, you know, you type in on your computer or go to the yellow pages or something and uh, pull up names, or how do you do that? Yeah, you can usually start with, a, you know, the, the, the typical Google search. Well, you'll, you'll pull up lots of, lots of coaches but in, your, in your area. Yeah. Um, but it's, we also have to differentiate between uh, what a coach is and what is not. Uh, anybody can call themselves a coach, sure. but not have the credentials behind their name. Right, so because there aren't usually state certifications for this kind right, of thing. Not right, not yet, yes. But there is definitely a, 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 a training that you have to go through. Mm -hmm. um, so if you're considering a life coach, you might want to check into that background, the background of the person, to find out, well, where did you get your training from? Because there are schools out there that have accreditations to right. train life coaches and to certify life coaches. Right. In your, in your case, you have your master's degree, plus you have the additional certification to, to be a life right. coach. Right. And, and the reason yeah. is my master's degree is in organizational psychology. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of life coaches have um, masters in psychology or their PhDs even. Mm -hmm. um, they're marriage and family therapists, and they transition into the life coaching arena as well. So. Yeah, it, it seems to me that uh, that life coaching is uh, is such an important endeavor because, I mean, there's a lot of emphasis now on lifestyle. We do a lot of programs here uh, about lifestyle, and we, and we look at all different kinds of aspects of lifestyle and look at them from a Christian perspective. Uh, but but those uh, kinds of you know, what is our life like? How do we order our lives? How do we live as Christians in this world uh, to bring uh, honor and glory to God, to bring happiness to ourselves? Uh, how do we do that? Those are the practical aspects of life, right. and uh, to have someone like yourself help out, I think, can be a good thing. Thank you. All right, let's uh, let's talk now about some steps. If uh, most of us like, you know, in fact, we have all these self-help books uh, out here. I mean, the the world is inundated with self-help books. Uh, most of them, in my view, aren't that good and aren't worth reading. But uh, <laughs> but most people would like to have. I want five easy steps, and those five easy steps is going to change my life entirely. Let's talk about uh, maybe a process when we get back. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. You can join the conversation now by calling 800-775-4673. Life Talk Radio presents Around the Globe in 30 Seconds. For almost two decades, Life Talk has been building its presence in countries around the globe. Every day, Steve Gallimore and the Life Talk audio engineers broadcast the radio signal that spreads the gospel to 150 countries like Japan, South Africa, Colombia. These are just a few of the many countries that Life Talk Radio is in, and the list continues to grow. Get involved. Even the smallest donation goes a long way to spreading the word around the globe. I bet you didn't know we were broadcasting over the air in so many locations. Here's another interesting fact. Live Talk is growing at an average rate of 10 stations per year. Who knows where we'll be next year? We might even be coming to your town. Live Talk Radio, 70 stations and counting. Jeff Bjork acknowledges the influence of old-time religion in his new CD, This I Know, a 15-track arrangement of well-known hymns. Each piece is a personal favorite anchored in rich history relevant for today. This is his fourth pure piano CD. It's sure to calm your heart in a noisy world. Call 1-800-775-4673 for your copy.
Would you like to change your life? Would you like to stay with those New Year's resolutions? Well, give us a call today. Maybe we can help. 800-775-4673. Uh, Marcel, let me, uh, let me ask you about uh, the steps again. As we were mentioning earlier, a lot of people like a few easy steps. Most of these self-help books, you know, it's five steps or seven steps or, I mean, ten steps. You know, there are always steps, it seems, and, uh, and the market is just flooded with these uh, self-help books. And maybe I should say so-called self-help books. I don't know that there's a, a lot of help. There's probably a lot of self. I don't know how much <laughs> help there is to them. But in any case, um, are there some things from a practical standpoint that you can advise people, okay, here, here is the process that can take you from where you are now to where you would like to be. Any just kind of brief guidelines or steps, if we can go ahead and use sure, that word. Sure, sure. And I'm glad you brought up the self-help world uh, because I, I first, I, I'm, a, I'm a life coach, but I'm also a Christian first and a Seventh-day Adventist. Mm -hmm. uh, and so the framework for every coaching conversation starts with God first. Mm -hmm. um, and, uh, and so we, we begin the conversation usually to define what the, what the issue is, what, why are you unhappy? Okay, and once we determine the unhappiness, uh, I usually ask them a question like, for example, um, if you could change this scenario, what would it look like? Mm -hmm. What would it feel like? And I ask them to imagine what that scenario would be like. Right. And then from there, we can start, start doing the steps. Okay, well, what would the steps be? The steps will be whatever the, the, the situation is at that, it, it, it varies for every individual. Okay. Uh, somebody that is, uh, is not happy at work, well, okay. what are the steps that you can take to, to take that unhappiness away? And so we may look at, well, some other career opportunities, uh -huh. or perhaps it's just a person at work uh, that is, is causing problems. Well, then we look at steps to well, how, how, um, how to work around that person so mm -hmm. that uh, that person is not affecting uh, your well-being in the workplace. All right, so uh, are, there, are there general steps that people take in changing their lives, or is each thing uh, necessarily uh, specific? Like if you mentioned you, you don't get along with someone at work, or you're just looking right. at that, and you say, okay, you know, instead of, uh, you know, instead of uh, drinking water because they don't like someone to drink water around them, you know, go across the room or whatever. Yeah. I'm talking about those kind of steps. Yeah. But are, are there general steps that people can make, that they can take to make lifestyle changes? If, if I focused on general steps, then we would actually be packaging a self-help book <laughs> okay. uh, again. All right. Um, every person is unique to the coaching proce process. So uh. I may have uh, an outcome, a, a different outcome for every coaching client I have. Mm -hmm. um, and it also helps to be creative. And so we, we usually go over lots of creative ideas and steps mm -hmm. about how to sustain yourself and how, how to uh, achieve more balance uh, and more well-being in your life. That can differ from a college student to someone that's just retired. So right. it, all, it all depends on your, your current situation. Now something else I'd like to, uh, to find out about as soon as we get back, and that is what about the negative changes or the positive changes? Some people say, I'm not going to do this anymore. Some people say, I'm going to do this. Let's talk about that when we get back. We'll be back in just a moment. More to come, so stay with us. And we still have the CD we're giving away. Do you agree? Let us know. 800-775-4673. Are you the type of person that likes to figure out math equations? Good. Let's see if you can figure this one out. How many man hours would it take to preach the gospel to one entire city only going door to door? Still trying to figure that one out? Of course you are. That's because the number of people and hours it would take would be astronomical. Now let's say that same city has a single Christian radio station broadcasting 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. How many people would it take now to spread the gospel with the entire city? The answer is less than you think. That's because radio has the ability to reach people and minister to them while they're driving to work or picking their kids up from school or heading to the store. Now imagine you had a network of 70 radio stations all over the country, each broadcasting 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Think of the impact that could have. For over 20 years, Life Talk has been faithfully spreading the gospel, and today we ask for your support. Won't you support Life Talk and our 70 stations as we look to expand to new cities hungering for the gospel? 
call 800-775-4673 to partner with us and become a part of this ministry. That number again is 800-775-4673. Join Life Talk's growing online community on Facebook. Become a fan of Life Talk and upload video and pictures. You may listen to past programs on our podcast page like HeartWise and Simple Solutions. That's the new Life Talk Facebook page. Tired of endlessly searching for energizing, uplifting daily devotionals? Here on the Steve Gallimore Live Show, every day we build a house, God's house, in your heart. We're talking today about making those lifestyle changes and sticking with our New Year's resolutions. And if you want to call, you can do it, but do so quickly because we don't have a lot of time left. But Marcel, I want to find out about those positive and those negative resolutions or determinations that a person will make. I mean, some, sometimes, of course, we know a person will say, I am not going to do this anymore. I am going to stop this. This is what I've been doing. Or a person will say, I want to uh, do this. I've never done this, and I'm going to do it. I'm going to get this accomplished. All right. Are both kinds of resolutions, uh, to use the New Year's term, or uh, determinations, are both kinds good, or is it usually better to have the positive and not the negative? Help us understand that. 